Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use reference angles to determine the exact value of a trigonometric function. Before we look at our example problem, I would like to answer a few questions that you may have. First, you are probably wondering what reference angles are and what they are used for. Well, a reference angle is a positive, acute angle formed by the terminal side of a given angle and the x-axis, and it is used to find the exact value of a trigonometric function when you are given an angle which is not acute. Second, you probably want to know how to find a reference angle for a given angle. Well, if the angle is positive, you have to determine what quadrant your angle is in and whether it is given in degrees or radians. Then, match it with the correct formula shown here and substitute A for your given angle. However, if your angle is negative, you want to essentially reverse the order of these formulas and take the absolute value of your angle. This is because, instead of moving in a counterclockwise direction, you were moving in a clockwise direction. For example, if you had an angle of negative 300 degrees, your reference angle would be 60 degrees and you would be in the first quadrant. Now, there is one more thing that we need to talk about before continuing on to our example problem and that is the signs of trigonometric functions. One question that you may have after seeing how the quadrant affected our reference angle is whether or not it affects your final answer. Simply put, yes it does because it determines which trigonometric functions are positive or negative. In the case of quadrant one, all of the trigonometric functions are positive. In the case of quadrant 2, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. In the case of quadrant 3, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent are positive. In the case of quadrant 4, cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive. So, now let's discuss our example problem, which is use reference angles to determine the exact value of each expression secant of 225 degrees and tangent of negative 3 pi over 4. The general process that I follow when approaching these kinds of problems is to first solve part A by determining its quadrant and reference angle. Then I repeat this process when solving part B. So the first step to solve part A is to determine what quadrant the angle 225 is in. It's in quadrant 3 because 225 is between 180 and 270 degrees. Thus, it should be in the third quadrant. Second, we need to determine the reference angle. So, we will use one of the formulas from earlier. A sub r equals A minus 180 degrees to determine this. First, we will substitute 200 and 20 degrees or 25 degrees for A and then subtract 180 from 225. This will give us our reference angle of 45 degrees. Third, we need to find the exact value of this expression. So let's begin by evaluating secant of 225 degrees. Because we are in the third quadrant and our reference angle is um, 45 degrees, this is equivalent to negative secant of 45 degrees, which would evaluate to negative square root of 2. For part b, we need to find the exact value of negative pi over, or negative 3 pi over 4. So the first thing we're going to do again is determine what quadrant this angle is in. It's in quadrant 3 because 3 pi over 4 is between pi over 2 and pi, and we are going in a clockwise direction, not a counterclockwise direction. Another way that you might want to think of this is that it's basically the angle 3 pi over 4 that's been flipped over the x-axis. Second, we need to determine the reference angle of negative 3 pi over 4. So we're going to use another formula from earlier, which is a sub r equals pi minus the absolute value of a. So the first thing we have to do is substitute 3 pi over 4 for the absolute value of a. And next we're going to subtract and determine that our reference angle is pi over 4, 
which is actually equivalent to 45 degrees. It's just in a different measure. So now we need to find the exact value of this angle. In this case, the tangent of negative 3 pi over 4 is equivalent to the tangent of pi over 4 because tangent is positive in the third quadrant. Finally, tangent of pi over 4 is equivalent to 1. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.